Good morning, everybody, and how are you? How are you, Fernando? I'm doing good. You know, I know sometimes you think, wow, he doesn't say good morning in every video. Well, that's because those videos are parts of other videos that just didn't make it into the first cut because the video got too long. Anyways, that's not important. This is a new video. We have a new truck. This is a Toyota, this is a Toyota Tacoma. Let's take a look at the dash. It has this radio right here, which is, in my opinion, very ugly. The customer likes it. He's still on the fence on whether or not he wants to get rid of it or not. For today, he's going to keep it, which is fine. Whatever turns you on. But what we're going to do is we're going to put an LC7i in it to get us our nice preamp section. What is that going to go to? Well, let me show you. We're doing the cool Exelon X801.5. It's one of my favorite amplifiers that you guys know. It's a nice, small footprint, five-channel amplifier. It's going to go up underneath one of the seats. We're doing the focus. Cal Perfect Fit IC165 TOIs. These are the coaxials. In the front, we're doing the component 6x9s. That's the IS690 TOIs. For a subwoofer, coming through different, trying to yeah, the, the joys of picking the right subwoofer. He works out of this truck, he leaves his seats folded down all the time. So there's really two choices. You can, well, either way. Pioneer factory box with the 110 inch, fits right in. And now what we're going to do, these are the clips for the child restraint that he's not gonna be using. So we're gonna make metal clips that attach onto here and screw into the box so that this doesn't do this. Normally we would recommend removing this if you're gonna be leaving this up most of the time because it's just louder. This is gonna be down most of the time. He needs it for putting stuff on. If you want a box for this, there are plenty of boxes that fit behind the seat here where you take both these out. There again, he just doesn't want to see this material here. That's the plan. That's the equipment we're putting in. Fernando's already gotten started because I've been running around grabbing boxes. Let's take a look at the door real quick. To take the door panel out on this car, two screws and one clip in here. Grab like a pick tool, angle, just prefer. Uh, that's a carpet in here. Remove it, screw it right there. And there's a screw behind the handle also, and a clip right here. Now, this one's our three clips. Most of the time, they always stay in the car size, so just be careful. Then you put it back. We got our pry tool, plastic. In case you guys have never seen the perfect fit in any of the videos previous, this is the Focal. Yep, that's right. The Focal is already in. Plugs into the factory. Down here on the floor is the factory speaker. Now, the main difference between the two and what usually gives us issue is the plug is located here on the factory and on the Focal, the plug is located here on the end. What that means is sometimes you have to cut some tape and stretch the wire to get it to reach. Or in some cases, you have to cut the wire and extend the wire like soldering wire to make it longer so that it'll plug right in. My plan is start pulling that radio out. We need to make a T-harness of some kind. <sighs> Everything good, Fernando? Everything is good. Let's get going. Join me in the cab right now. We're going to take this dash apart. Get this off, grab it over here on the passenger side, and just give it a good yanking. And then just kind of gently work your way around and then this whole thing will come off just like that. This only has plastic clips holding it on, though there are a ton. Holds it in nice and tight. Pull the four 10 millimeter bolts. Toyota radios, they usually are like a two-piece unit. This is the Sirius XM here on the bottom. You don't have to unplug all the cables from it. You just want to make sure you unplug these across the top. And of course, the one that's plugged into here, which is probably the Sirius XM. There is a fair amount of room inside this dash. Like if you wanted to hide a brick amp or something like that up in this guy here. There's a good amount of room. As you can see, I can stick my arm in there pretty far. What we want to look at is these two harnesses. This one right here. This guy, this is a 1761 typical Toyota harness. So that's good. Let me grab the harness for it real quick. We have two harnesses here. We have the BHA and the BHO 1761. This is the factory harness here. This one is a match for the factory harness. This of course would be the one that plugs into the factory harness. So what we end up with is this, which means means we can make this, which will be a T-harness. So this will go here, this will go into the back of the radio, and that'll allow us to do this interfacing without cutting any of the plug. What we wanna take a look at is make sure we have all the wires we need in these harnesses, because they don't always ship with the right wiring in them. We wanna make sure that they're both good. For this case, what we're looking at is this has this brown wire here. This one has it, but the reverse harness doesn't. I'm gonna have to find a wire to clip into this, and then 
then on the other one, this actually doesn't have this blue wire, this guy right here. This one does. What I'll be able to do is take this pin out and use that to repin in on this so that I'll have all the matching wiring that I need. I want to make sure that everything that is here passes through to the radio with the exception of the speaker wires, which we're going to be putting in. The other thing we can look at too, this has a red accessory wire. This has a gray wire here that is accessory. And that's important. The LC7i has a feature called GTO or great turn on. What that allows it to do is use signal sense, the sound coming in and create a remote turn on that goes out feed the Kenwood amplifier. If we use the accessory wire, we can turn off the GTO. There's a relay built into it. If we take this accessory wire, we feed it into it. We turn off GTO, it will still feed a relayed output to the Kenwood amplifier. The reason why we want to do that instead of just using signal sense in this case, for one, it hasn't, it's easy to get to. Two, we've also found in Toyotas, they can be real tricky sometimes, meaning the GTO doesn't always work. Nothing is 100%. In this case, we know if we grab the accessory, we'll be at 100%. There's been plenty of situations before you ask where the GTO has worked 100% of the time. It's just weird in Toyotas. Homework right here, we need to go move some pins around. Let's head over to the bench. We'll get this T-harness mocked up. First thing we want to do is pull this blue wire here in the center. There's a little tooth on the inside of this harness that holds it in place. You just want to lift up on that tooth and then you can slide it out. Separate these two blue wires. Now once we've cut the two, we're done with this. There's nothing in these two locations on the factory side. Come over and repeat the process on this one just for beauty purposes because they're not going to be doing anything. The one wire we do need to replace is we're going to take the blue one we took out, put it on the opposite side of where this orange black is because this is in the factory harness. And there we go. Take these wires here and these wires here and solder them together, leaving the speaker wires unattached out of the radio these guys here are going to go to the lc7i from our amplifier we'll connect it up to these wires here and they'll go off and feed these speakers we're installing t harness is all set and ready to go we have what's going to plug in behind the radio added in our accessory output so that we could turn on that lc7i and then we have what's going to plug into the factory plugs and our speaker wire is going to attach here just like we said